In this video, I will show you how you can solve fake charging in phones like Techno Infinix because they mostly have this type of fault. Fake charging, charging but no bar adding. So in this video, I will show you how you can solve that problem. I will give you all the steps in troubleshooting and fixing that type of problem. So this method that I'm going to give you right here, the method of using a diode is not included because that method is just like a bypass. Okay, so when you receive that type of problem, you might start wondering why is the phone charging not increasing? I will give you a few reasons why that happened. It might be due to low voltage or low current. So, like I say in all my videos, we have a difference between voltage and current. So, the current is the capacity of the voltage. So, the battery might still get its charging voltage right here, which might be 4.5 volt, 3.7 volt, depending on the phone might still get the exact voltage but wouldn't be able to charge maybe due to low capacity of the charging voltage so how can you start troubleshooting these fake charging problems in phones so the first step that i'm going to give you right here will give you a couple of steps but the first steps that you need to go through you have to change the charging port so most people don't do this but i'm telling you what this method works really fine so i cannot explain why the phone will be charging but not increasing but when you change the charging port it starts charging i cannot really explain that but it works really fine for me so in most cases i just change the charging port as soon as i've done that the phone will start charging so in case you change the charging port and it does not work then you will need to do some deep troubleshooting to solve the problem so and i'm going to connect my charger right here then show you how you can test and the things that you will need to test and what you will need to do so while doing so if you are new to my channel make sure you click the subscribe button then like this video i mostly notice that you guys don't like my video and that is why my videos are not going any viral even semi-viral so when you like my video the youtube algorithm will notice that yeah you are really interested in the video then promote the video to more people so do me a favor by liking okay so now we have our charger connected and this is what you will need to do when you're troubleshooting this fault so once you have connected the charger into the phone, make sure that the charging plug right here, which is the charging flag, in case the charging board is different from the main motherboard, then you will have to set your digital multimeter to DC range. So I have mine right here in 20 volt DC range. So what we are going to do right here, we are going to check the charging voltage in this Techno Mobile PCB. You're going to put the black probe to the ground then use the red probe to check the battery positive connector so you can see right there we have 4.2 volt which is the charging voltage of this mobile pcb so it shows that when you check this and it shows the exact voltage still the phone is charging but not increasing then you will need to go and try another method which i will give you right here but in most cases when you check and it's go to low voltage when you check then you will get a voltage less than 3.5 so when you get that voltage depending on the phone like i said so if i get a voltage in this mobile pcb because i know using schematic diagram i know the exact voltage that needs to charge the, the battery of this phone any voltage below 3.5 volt will be too small to charge the battery of this phone depending on the circuit okay so when you get this less voltage what is it that you are going to do because this is, these are the steps in which you will need to go through to troubleshoot this problem. So once you have checked, then you get less voltage right here. We are still going to get into the method in which you will do if you get the full charging voltage right here. Okay, so if you check, then you get a low voltage or maybe the normal voltage, but still yet the phone is not charging. We will talk about the normal voltage. But if there is a low voltage, then you will need to follow these steps. So what you will have to do is to remove the main board. Then you will have to locate the charging I see. I want to introduce you to my mobile repairing course. So I'm running a course that will teach you from the basics of repairing mobile phones to the advanced level of repairing mobile phones. So in case you want to join, then make sure that you message me using the number in the pinned comment. Send me a message on WhatsApp. I will send you more info about the course. So the course is not free. Sorry, the course is not free, but it's really fair. And you will learn. I mean, you will learn from the basics of troubleshooting and solving problems and understanding all mobile phone components.
okay in this mobile pcb we have the charging regulator right here this is not actually the charging ic of this phone because this phone has an integrated charging ic which is integrated with the power ic so most of you guys i know that most of you guys think that this is the charging ic but this is no charging ic so this is just a charging regulator it regulates the, and stabilizes the voltage that the power ic will receive to build up the charging voltage that you get in the battery connector so this is on this pcb and using your schematic diagram using your schematic diagram pin mapping you will know what i'm talking about so i already studied this pcb then i know that this ic right here needs to give out 5 volt it needs to give out the same 5 volt that is receiving or 4.5 so that power ic will receive that voltage but the 4.5 that you need to check right here you don't have to check it anywhere but you will need to check the output voltage in which the output voltage of this mobile pcb is in this capacitor right here like i said schematic diagrams are very important so you, you will need to follow these steps to know if the output voltage of this charging regulator right here is okay so when you connect then you check you check the the using your schematic diagram you know the output then you check then you see that you have the voltage right here 4.5 volt or 5 volt then you will need to go to the next step so using your schematic diagram you will know the components in which that 5 volt is passing through to get into the power ic because that 5 volt cannot get into the power ic without a decrease of voltage that uh, 5 volt is too big to enter this power ic right here so on this pcb right here we have one filter resistor right here which totally decreased the voltage this is a very high i don't know why the this is not really focusing well we have one high value resistor right here which totally decreased the voltage the charging voltage which is the five volt so right here i'm going to connect it then test it so that you will see what i'm talking about I know the resistor already so if you connect your charger then put a probe to the to the negative then you check right here I have the voltage there which is okay and if you check that resistor that resistor right here you will see that I have yeah I have between 4.8 volt to 5 volt which is normally 5 volt right there which means that the charging regulator is giving the correct voltage which means that you won't have anything to do with that charging regula regulator that i just showed you in the other side of the pcb so that is working fine it's supplying the correct voltage that was supposed to get into this resistor right here and now is the turn of the resistor you will need to check if that resistor is really decreasing the voltage so you need to check the other side of the resistor which needs to be 2 volt okay cool so you see that the other side of the resistor is giving 2.8 volt so this voltage is the charging voltage that the power ic needs to receive like i said the, this power ic of this phone and most techno phones and most infinix phones some of them have their uh, charging ic being integrated to some part of the power ic so once the power ic receive this 2.8 volt from this resistor right here it will then build up and boost up the 4 volt that you get into this charging right here so in case you check and you get a voltage and you get a high voltage maybe you get a voltage right here that is 4.7 in the out other side of the resistor or you get the exact voltage that you get on the other side and you will have to change that resistor that means that the resistor is malfunctioning so you need to get at least 2.3 volt to, to, to 3 volt you need to get at least 2.3 volt to 3 volt in the other side of the resistor so the resistor does not have to breach the exact 5 volt that it receives so like I say, you will need to use schematic diagram to know the components that the charging voltage is connected to. So once you get it right there, then you will see that using your schematic diagram, you will see if there is any component that, that the charging voltage is passing through to get into the power IC. So I check, then I notice it's getting 
into one capacitor right here so you see that I still have the 2.8 volt which means that the power IC successfully received the charging voltage so once it received the 2.8 volt then it will build up this voltage that you are seeing right here so if you check right here after getting the input charging voltage to the power IC you check right here then you don't get at least 3.5 volt upward you will have to change the power ic or revolve the power ic and uh, even if you get the full voltage right here but it's still not increasing you try a different battery and it's still same you change the charging port and it's still same change or revolve the power ic and before you do that i want you to take a good look at the battery connector tracks of that mobile pcb so in some mobile pcb instead of having this diode right here you will have resistors which means that they can still be stopping the the battery from getting the correct voltage and the correct capacity charging capacity to charge up so you can change this diode right here change the diode or if it's a resistor you will need to change it if it's connected in series and you know that it's the main positive track you will have to change it because it can resist some amount of current which was supposed to really charge up the battery so once you have done that and it does not work then from there you can go on then revolve or change your power ic so using these steps you can solve problems that the phone is not charging after changing the charging ic or changing so with these steps you can solve charging problems even if the phone is not charging after changing the charging ic or the uh, or the charging port so using these steps you will be able to solve this problem so while your power ic so these are the most important steps in troubleshooting if you don't really want to do any jumper like just bypass using a diode then you will have to follow these steps and you can use these steps as well to follow to check a phone that is not totally charging so goodbye for now thank you and see you soon